Hey guys, Long and Hedgehog here, and welcome back to Simpsons Tap Out, and today is Halloween. I uh, hopefully these both two parts of Simpsons Tap Out comes out on Halloween. Yes, it's spooky time, it's Halloween. And now, Act 3, The Tree House of Horror 28th event is out. We have our last set of characters and buildings and decorations and all spooky stuff to get. So, let's check the store, the act prizes, and everything else for the final act for Treehouse of Horror 2017. And then we just have to get ready for the takedown in two weeks' time. But let's just see once this thing's up. We'll see what's in the store, what's the main story this time for this act. And see if there's anything, you know, any changes. We're short on toads again. Toads? We still insect toad in magic school? No, plant more again, and I don't know how to pronounce that. She's a toad princess. Still the prince of eating flies. Our to toad promises witches if we help him get it as well. I'm not so sure whenever he needs all the more prize. We have to collect uh, 200 gold toad princes, and for those who don't, you need a crowning mod, you have to summon him, so it would have to take about 4 hours until then, but let's just check. So, so far, we got a new skin from Professor Frank here, source was Frank from the Sepsons, and what about it? What about it? 100 donuts, for those who don't have Professor Frank, he, uh, he's a premium character, so there is a bundle for 150 donuts that include Professor Frank, Frank Slap, and the skin. So let's just get it. I think out of all the skins for this event, this one's probably going to look the best out of them. But let's just check. So what's for Frank? This may go, go against my beliefs in science. Nevertheless, I'll put on my source with woven hat. So that's a place the Sepsons Corner. Let's just see if I can actually get the remaining toad. And I still need 80 and 120. Actually, I think. Well, I guess I can summon one of these characters for two times and just see there so that would help out a bit more to get me the <coughs> remaining toad princes in that. Can't okay, there we go so let's just check here. No! I don't want to do this but Lisa if you don't tell me this guy's name you're grounded. We have rules in this house and rule number one is no covering in stupid some stupid name. Fine, I'll write it down. Will you shut up about it? I'll try. I can't promise. I told I have a quite a mouth on me. Okay, so I have to make Homer read out, read out his read out name loud and as well get the... I have to make Professor... I have to get Barface, but let's just say Professor Frank's name suppose. Magic in Springfield? I will go pickle. Well, not sweet. As a scientist and a seasoned nerd, I take a strong anti-magic stance. It's a it's a crutch for dim minutes for the unexplainable. And I'm also a fan of several work of fantasy fiction departments. Alas, in this great time of peril, I must don a sorcerer's robe and hat. Besides, the sooner this is over. I can go back to inventing incredible and equally unexplainable inventions. But let's just check Professor Frank's thing. So, this is his sec second skin in the game, which is cool. So he has Paran Magic, Paran Robe and Hat, conduct crazy magical experiments, have a side of the magic quiet, wave magic stick around, roast wipe white soft candles. Plus I can oh. call me we out in the now and get Barfy as well since that's the only way I can really continue on with the act is to continue this particular storyline is to unlock Barfy. 
So let's just Sometimes. get Homer up and get Barfy now and see how this works. Time's gonna show up to let the thing was slow there for a minute. Alright, let's just place Bobby right next to the magic car here. Bobby is here to part D. I'm triple size the guy you don't want to show up at your BBQ or family gathering. Hey, hey, yeah, Bobby. Now I can say it takes a healthy amount of size for someone. Not even for someone. So we have to capture him again, but he's probably he gets up the same prices as lead and claw, so I only really do it once. Whoa, Monty Mort. Monty Mort. Lord Monty Mort. Doesn't sound so terrifying to me. Poof! How in the boiling cauldron did I get here? Ah, ah, I gotta say your name! Continue on, let's just check. So yeah, so let's just Frank can also help out with the monster enchantments. Pretty much making these guys kind of useless and kind of think about it. Because I'm really going to use them, mostly going to use these four main premium characters for this one. Ooh. It is you! The most despicable antagonist in the Antelope Button series! This is the most frightening and really cool at the same time! Silence, little girl! My monster should have demolished this pathetic town by now! Slitters! What in the blades does this take them so long? It appears that the Kitty Kong trained Trent to capture and train them. Sir, people and people and their like pets, you know. When? Is my monsters won't do it? And it's up to the master. Doesn't anyone realize I have magical sun and sun sucking cola to meet? Hold the oaf and the little and the pesky girl that bought here. Not if I can help it. I'll find your weakness. I'll have powers of my own. We have to make another place down. Oh, geez, a real big building. Well, it's going to be a little shorter. So, uh, this is where, okay, so Lord Monty Mort is right, just standing there. So we have to fight him. So we have to hey. do the no. things. Well, Lisa's searching Hi, up for books and exploits and forward to hide in incessants. Oh, oh, I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah. So how do we beat him up? Age shaming? Lord, we have to say his name backwards. Destroy a bunch of cursed childhood tingles? According to the books, it's none of those. It says the key is being Monty Mort is physically beat him. That's why God created bullies. So we have to make some springs. Okay, so the duel or Lord Monty Mort with magical students and staff. Send four each enchanted beasts to fight the giant sized Lord Monty Mutt. So we have to make the other characters do this too. But compared to the others, Lord Monty Mutt doesn't really have much health compared to the other characters. So he only has four health, so let's actually just send Army for now to get rip finish him off this easily. Let's just check this animation shot. Whoa. Admittedly, this is kind of cool animation wise. It's different from all the other animation jobs we've been gotten given for this whole event, but we have to just speed. Okay, so now he's fully sized. <laughs> you can't win, Lord Monty Bunt! We won't let you destroy our town! You fools can't stop me! I got a monopoly on magic! Time to tap on those free resources too! Oh, out of all the giant nicks to attack Springfield, this has to be the weirdest and weakest one. Enchanted beasts! Fight in the name of Springfield! Well, I ignore the fact that I was forcing physical creatures to fight. So I had to set out the beasts to fight. And they also can, now I can only send a two in this one, but this also has a good job. So I can now send the other beasts to fight him, as I can only send two, but Wiggle Oculus, Burns Dragon, and Tree Stash can give out more because they're premium. 
Well, come on, let's call it Bully from Cat because the only three characters or archetypes. So I'm just going to burn this dragon. So I can only send two compared to the other one. But I think that'd be a good time to just look around. So this is actually is cool that now the beasts can fight. Why don't I give them a bit more purpose as well compared to the other ones? And also funny to see a burns dragon just fight a burns. <laughs> but a fault of burns. Person. So it's kind of funny. Right now, I'm just going to just speed up some to get some prizes. We get the our next decoration or act prize, a skin of tight. Just to the floor guy. That box kind is perfect. A big square. An oddly measure to watch. And now I'm just going to stop for now to get the next character in this event, Slitters. This is not a skin for Smithers, this is a separate character. Which I am kind of glad they're giving them separate characters you? instead of skins. Know who that is? So we have Slitters. Fun fact, I can eat my boss and digest some only in two weeks. So we only have two adults left for this event, but let's just check what Slitters has. Uh, yes, Sir, you want me to double the magic essence of output to the plant? That's right, Slitters. And don't give me any of that. But the workers have no essence. I see to it that see that the employees are starting to put some essence over time. Very good, Slitters. Now, what is going on with your stomach? It's creepily disturbing. Oh, that's oh the little guy. Don't worry, he was still digested in, in a milky mush. So let's check what Slitters says. So he said, "Digest last week's meal, bask in the sunroom, hibernate in the closet, <laughs> intimidate workers, and come out of the stale." the stales. So I don't think he can help out with the fighting. No, he can't. He can't help out with the fighting because he's a... Uh, yes, he's a, you know, a villain. But let's just... I'm gonna stop for now, and I'll see you guys in the I think this might be the finale of the Treehouse of Horror event. See you guys later.